Hello, my friends. Well, I'm going to try another large canvas today, Dutch pour. It's always scary because that involves so much paint. I mean, look at the amount of paint I need for the base coat. Two 18 ounce cups. And the colors I've chosen um, are analogous on the color wheel. That means they're side by side. So I'm going with greens, yellows, and then I thought just for a little bit of contrast, I'd add blue, which is, of course, would be on this side. Anyway, that's the plan. So let me clear the deck, get the big canvas ready, and we'll give it a go. Okay, my friends, I am back. Um, there's some peripheral noise. I have my window open and there's a gardener next door and um, my husband's doing laundry in the other room. And so I hope that's not too distracting. I think you can still hear me. So I've got my base coat down. I um, fished out cat hairs I could find <laughs> and I didn't see any lumps, which is good. And what else did I do? Uh, scooped up any excess that I could to reserve in case I need to pour white anywhere else. And now I'm ready for the colors. So um, I'm going to sandwich in the greens, or the blue and yellow rather, between the greens. They'll create their own shade of green. Yeah, that's my thinking. I'm going to use the gold last, the metallic, to give a nice shimmer to the whole thing. So here we go, fingers crossed. And I think I'm gonna go a little thicker on each one and just put one uh, course of paint down for each line. That's my plan anyway, and probably on a large canvas like this, that's all I'll be able to do. In fact, these next two lines are gonna be skinnier. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that. Well, that was the ugliest color anyway. <laughs> and now the dogs are going on a walk, so I might hear some dog activity. Wow. Oh, look at that, it didn't work so well. That's okay. Listen to him asking the dogs where they want to go. Okay. That was kind of an olive green. And it actually it's a beautiful earthy green. Maybe I'll since I went so heavy there, I'll start here. Or I'll start I'll start here. And then I'll come this way. skinny line on here. Alrighty, and then the blue. This is a cerulean blue. I'll put all the colors down below and um, the recipe I'm using is the same one I always use. I'm using Artist Loft for the white, mixed the same way. The last one I did, that large one with the um, reds and yellows, um, I liked the look of it, didn't sell up too much, and I'm hoping that I'll get the same result here, although I think I may have had to use a new bottle, and I think it might even vary from bottle to bottle, so we'll see. Now this lovely green, actually I think this one is what they call olive green. That first one was uh, chrome oxide green. This is Master's Touch light olive, I believe they call it. And 
Oops, I started at the bottom again. I'm going to run short. I have a big show coming up in October. I don't know if I mentioned yet. That's why I'm doing these large pieces because um, I've got a show that's going to run the whole month of October in a 1,400 square foot room. So that's a lot of wall space. One one whole wall is um, windows, though, fortunately. But <clears throat> that means I need either a lot of pieces or several, I mean more than several, large. So I'm going large. Okay, well, this is pretty thick, and those are a little skimpy, and I've got some dribbles, but, oh, okay, I think I've used up my paint, pretty much. Let's see, okay, yeah, I have drib, you know, tiny, tiny bit left in each cup, but I'll, I'll leave those and come back to them if I need to, so here we go. This little cute little hair dryer on low is sufficient. Loving it yet. <laughs> Let's see, blow this out a little more. Now I think my base coat thickened up overnight. I mixed it last night, thinking that might help with the with the selling problem down. But my paints are a little probably moving here. Maybe it's the operator. Okay, well, I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it at all. I don't mind the composition. Uh, gosh, that blue might have been a mistake. The greens just kind of failed me. I got a dot there where I don't want anything. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow it out more. I'm not happy with it, so. Let's see where to. That's pretty. I'm going to blow it out a lot more than I normally would. It's a good canvas.
Mm. Not loving it. Not loving it. I'm not happy with it. I don't mind the composition, but the colors are just blah. Huh. What can I do? Oh, maybe I'll stop, let it dry, pour over it. <laughs> it really did a lot of selling. Not happy with with that, but mostly it's the colors. I'm, I I like green, I like blue, but these particular ones I'm not crazy about together. Well, I'd give it a five on a scale of one to ten. Uh, let me try. I'll just show you, let me zoom in and, and show you a few things that I will. Yeah, it's not that bad, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. If I can zoom in and just show you a few little areas that I want to do a little skewer work with. Just where I see odd, let's see. Can you see that? Come over by the camera. No. Can you see that? No. Well, maybe. Just where I see odd little um, areas, I'm going to go in and just add a little artistic touch. Let me take the camera down and Okay, I'm holding it in my hand while I attempt to. <laughs> oh, look at there's a profile. Isn't that funny? Well, let me change that up so it doesn't look like a profile. That looks like a very weird profile. <laughs> Uh, here's an oddball one. I'm... And the, like a little bump like this, I don't like, so I'm gonna just change that up slightly. So I won't um, take your time to do too many of these, but that's what I would do vary the sizes. A lot of selling going on there. It's not bad. It's not bad. And maybe when it dries and that gold brings a shimmer to the whole thing, I'm, I might be okay with it. It's too much paint to scrape. I'm going to let it dry. I'll go through and, um, Make my little curly cues, let it dry, and then decide if it's worth saving. <laughs> okay, my friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.